two huge doubts in the banks that wouldn't let me sleep. I couldn't find a way out of it. I spent my time in depression and crying. I was really drowning in debt. I was a person who owed almost $200,000. I had a ton of debts for like 20 years. I was feeling down in the dumps. I started to let go, to leave behind the fears, to leave behind the doubts. I managed to free myself from everything, from that heavy and painful burden. I felt calm and confident speaking to the Department of Criteria and presenting them with my payment proposal. I've already paid off all the debts and I almost have this house completely bought. I have enough money now because previously I didn't have enough. I had six investments. Imagine getting rid of a $200,000 debt and on top of that, having something to invest now. It's awesome, thanks a lot. It's a total blessing, and I mean like a really big one, like huge. I'm happy because I'm free. Greetings, good afternoon. All of you are warmly welcome to our 11th class. We are delighted to have you all here. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. And welcome to the 11th class of this intensive biblical finance course. Good afternoon, it's a real pleasure to be here with all of you. Let's get started, okay? Let us commence our class, our week, right? So press play and inform me and write in the chat your location of origin and current place of residence, stating where you are from and where you currently live. Yes, how delicious. We're in our 11th class of the intensive biblical finance. Spill the beans, where are you from? Where do you live? Yum, wow, there are so many beautiful people here. And look, today's topic will revolve around the starting point to embark on and enhance your income potential. Today, I will share with you the vision of the Christian entrepreneur. Who desires to be a Christian and prosperous entrepreneur? Yes, yes, I know you want to have your finances under control, have extra money, and start investing to fulfill God's dreams in your life, right? Yes, yes. And where are the super dedicated ones? Super dedicated ones. Are you guys present? Yes, how delightful, how wonderful that you are all present. I'm going to talk about how, yes. Oh, look, keep in mind that later today, we'll also have a class where I'm going to talk about how to prevent finances from destroying your family. I am going to discuss finances and family finances. I will address how to motivate your family members to maintain control over their finances and other aspects of finances for couples taking into consideration the teachings and principles of the Bible. That's awesome. In this intensive, I'm bringing you a complete content about finances so you can start having a real financial awakening. What is a metanoia? It is a shift in mindset to obey God in your finances. Therefore, if I were you, I would not miss any class because it is a continuation, yeah, of the other one, a continuation of the other one, and it is crucial to stay consistent in your journey of faith. And we are already on the fifth day. Yeah, no, no, we are on our sixth day. Yeah, by the way, class 11, how good. Yeah, we are in our 11th class. Yeah, it has already been five days. Yeah, Saturday class. We also had class on Saturday. Yeah, it's been a busy week. Time flies when you're learning. Can't believe it's already day six. And by the way, every class possesses a phrase for you as though it were a fragment of a puzzle. So, Take advantage of this opportunity and grab every piece for free to put together this puzzle in your financial life, all right? We are currently in the first stage of this event, which is a warm-up for the highly anticipated second stage that is incredibly special and will officially begin on Thursday. Yes, on this Thursday, okay? So every day we are going to send the link to access the classes of the day in the WhatsApp groups of the Biblical Finance Intensive, okay? If you are not already in one of the intensive WhatsApp groups, make sure to join today so you don't miss out, okay? How do you manage to get in then? You will have access through the link that is located down here of this video. All right, all right, so you can speak in that manner. However, doctor, when I registered, I noticed that there were 28 classes and now you're indicating that there will only be 21. Yes, that is correct, but this is due to the fact that there will be an additional seven classes that are free of charge. Yes, do you prefer free classes? Yes, they are remarkably special. They will persist for the second stage. The second stages of the program's duration. We have the recorded master classes, yes, whose titles will be the hands-on stage, okay? But we won't publish it here on YouTube, right? 
And why do I tell you that these seven free classes of the second stage would be hands-on? Why? Where are the extremely committed ones, extremely committed ladies? Where are they? Write it to me in the chat. Hashtag super dedicated, hashtag super dedicated. That is amazing. So in addition to learning through practical experience, you will also have access to all the supporting materials, right? For your financial needs. Also, we'll have an exclusive Facebook community for the Christian week where you can post your exercises and my team and I will follow you in your activities, okay? And when I say that, there are always individuals inquiring if this will have any cost and the response is no, it does not have any cost associated with it. The Christian week number. Everything I stated is going to be available free of charge 100% for anyone who registers in the intensive biblical finance and be super committed and super committed here with me, okay? Even I can inform you that in addition to gaining a wealth of knowledge, you also have the opportunity to earn money by watching the classes. Yes, yes. Do you want to know how to receive a $200 transfer directly into your account? Yes, in a highly exclusive account that I am going to inform you about at the conclusion of this comprehensive biblical finance program for individuals who do not intend to leave the WhatsApp group, all right? Individuals who wish to take part must fill out the attendance roster, contacting additional individuals and remaining until the conclusion of the intensive, all right? And besides the chance to make money, you'll also be able to get a free participation certificate from the Querico course. It is a complimentary certificate to acknowledge that you took part and acquired knowledge alongside me in this particular event. Do you recall? Yeah, you must write down the keyword I am providing at the conclusion of every class in order to unlock your complimentary participation certificate. And all the instructions for that will be sent exclusively within the WhatsApp group right there at the conclusion of the event. All right. So let's go ahead, team. Let's go. How delicious. Very good. Very good. Where are the super committed ones? Who wants to have a great deal of content today? That is really impressive. Write it to me in the chat. I want more content on biblical finances. That's awesome. Come on, let's go together. Look, in the last classes, we talked about the multiplication law. Yeah, also, and the importance of multiplying the seeds that God puts in your hands. Yes or yes. The fact is that we are commanded by the Bible to increase the number of seeds. And there is no better way to multiply seeds than by engaging in business activities. Yes or yes, nothing is going to provide as much return. Nothing is going to provide greater profitability than building a successful business. However, if you remember the previous class on the investor's trilemma, it's evident that any investment with high profitability assumes risk, leading to a higher return, no matter what the circumstances may be. And many people inquire, doctor, I am about to commence a business. What are your thoughts? I look, yes. I feel like responding immediately. I do not know. I do not know what I can talk to you about. Listen carefully. The success of a business relies on multiple factors, not solely on a single one. The presence of risk necessitates the need for you to make prudent decisions and take proactive measures in order to enhance your chances of success by consistently mitigating those risks. Every single business carries risks. Don't you agree? Well, the truth of the matter is that out of every 10 companies, a staggering six of them fail to survive beyond a five-year time frame. In fact, the average lifespan of companies is merely five years, which is undeniably a dire situation. So if not, if the majority, most of the companies, so if you do not want to be part of this unfortunate statistic, this unfortunate statistic, my apologies, you have to be adequately prepared. Is that correct? Shall we proceed together on this journey? And what about commencing the process by minimizing the risks involved? Be prepared and ready. That's what we're going to talk about in today's class. Yeah? All right, let's talk about the starting point to embark on and increase your income. This is about finances in light of the Christian Entrepreneur's Bible. Okay? You want to know? Yes or no? Please write it in the chat. Yeah, I am down for it. That is awesome. Yeah? So let us go ahead with it. So would you like to learn how to initiate a business that increases your seeds or continue an existing one commencing with the least amount of risk or having a reduced level of risk? 
Yes. So look, the first thing you need to know is what it is. Look here. What is it? One, I'm going to talk about some very important points for Christian entrepreneurs. Identify your PMS. What is this? What is this? Here I will inform you about the three crucial aspects you need to identify prior to commencing your learning journey. It is them. Please write them down. Talent. Yes, talent. Passion and market. I am sorry. I apologize for the inconvenience. We must identify your talent, passion, and target market in order to find success. Look, what are your skills and abilities? Your passion, what is your passion? What is your turf? Look, I am going to discuss each of those points, all right? Talents, what are you truly skilled at? What skill or talent has God bestowed upon you with his divine grace? I'm giving it to you as a gift. We all talk about how we have talents. If I talk about this with my mentees from the program, there's no person without talents. I offer assistance to my mentees in identifying and nurturing their talents. You know, passion. What is your greatest love? What would you do effortlessly without any obstacles, even if it didn't cost a penny, if it were completely free of charge? I mean, if I did not receive anything because you really enjoy doing this, correct? Another question, market. What does the world require and would be willing to pay for? There are individuals who require your talent, correct? What is your area of expertise? Look, when you discover the shared foundation among these three elements of talent, passion, and market, you will receive a clear indication of which business to pursue, correct? Yes or yes. And look, look, that what I'm saying here is different from what many people do out there. I am aware of this. For instance, there was a period when one of the most discussed businesses was the shop that sells popsicles, correct? Ice cream, right? So everyone was talking, I'm going to open a paella joint and it's going to be a huge success. But is it truly like that? Are you commencing a business simply because everyone else possesses one? Nah, most likely not. If they are not legitimately present in your talent, passion, and market, it is not going to go well for that particular individual in question. Then came the enamel fever. I know my way around in many countries. And so it goes in one business after another. You get it? These are businesses that have a fever. Yes, everybody is, um, there are numerous booming businesses similar to that in existence. It can be custom craftsmanship, either made by hand or manufactured with the use of machines. The businessman can customize shirts, mugs, bags, and various other accessories. However, it is crucial to note that you need to assess whether this business has the common ground among the three factors in your life, namely talent, passion, and market. That makes all the difference for you to begin in the correct way. You should not be doing what others are doing. Now that you are aware of what the initial step is, the point of origin, which is to recognize your talents, passion, whether you derive pleasure from doing something, whether it aligns with the market. I am going to delve into this idea further in an upcoming stage, okay? However, at this point, here comes a key question to assist you in undertaking this particular task. It is a class that is filled with a wealth of content and knowledge about the principles of Christian entrepreneurship. One question all entrepreneurs must ask is this. What is the underlying reason for my actions? What is your genuine motivation or true incentive for engaging in this particular activity or task? We have a strong belief that this is the driving force. It is the central issue that justifies and motivates every single effort we consistently make in all aspects of our lives. Yes, indeed, the inquiry regarding the reason is of utmost importance to the extent that we are unable to fathom a life devoid of it. Having clarity in the response makes all the difference. Look, why are you performing this task at your place of employment? Why are you doing that in your business, in your company? Do you know what motivation is? Yes? Motivation is the reason for taking action, and it is essential for Christians to have that clarity in their lives and prioritize it above all else. 
what is the actual reason behind initiating the action of commencing this business or sustaining this business in the long run? It could be the desire to work from wherever you want or the belief that you have a better way of doing things than your boss or the desire to thrive financially in order to be a channel of blessings in other people's lives. It could possibly be. Look, regardless of whatever your reason may be, this reason must be a central and fundamental issue for your life as a Christian entrepreneur. Yes or yes, look, it's a really important phrase. It's not the phrase of the class, but it's a really important phrase. Where are the extremely committed individuals? Yes, please write it down. This reason, your motivation, ought to be the focal point for your life as a Christian entrepreneur. I am going to provide you with additional content here. Therefore, please listen. Neglecting to answer this question without thorough contemplation can result in a significant deficiency of motivation and subsequent remorse in the future. What is the reason for your involvement in this business? What is the reason for him being an entrepreneur? A well-founded answer to this question will provide you with the motivation you need to overcome the challenges of starting a business. Okay, the answer to this question will be your driving force to keep going in the midst of difficulties. However, now we have to clue you in on something very, very important. Pay attention to this, okay? Pay close attention here. Numerous entrepreneurs have attempted to respond to this question with the motivations of the world, of this world. Yeah, but not you. You are a Christian entrepreneur. I am going to provide you with an alternative method to discover the appropriate motivation. All right. All right. So let's move forward. Yes, we're in our 11th grade class. Yeah. Where are the super committed ones? Thursday starts our Christian week, right? I am here demonstrating the foundation, which is based on the rock. Who is the rock for us? Our rock is Jesus Christ, right? And look, it's possible that the motivations of this world, that they may achieve financial success in their businesses because of it, but they will never find true satisfaction. You understand? You will always be lacking something. There is nothing that can give you true motivation in the things of this world, the earthly realm we inhabit. The sole way to accurately respond to your why, to your why, your motivation look, is by seeking guidance from God. This is incredibly important and should not be underestimated. The response of God to your life and to this question is the assurance that you will never feel disappointed in the future, providing you with unwavering confidence. Your call is currently in progress. So what should you do? Kneel before the Lord and start praising for God's wisdom to obtain the perfect answer to this question in your life. Embrace humility and faith as you wait for divine intervention and the revelation of the ideal solution to your query. A good piece of advice for asking is, I'm going to teach you now. Why would God bless me in this business? Is it a business where the owner is God? Am I blessing a lot of people in this business, yes or no? And here comes another question, right? If you're a Christian entrepreneur, remember that in order to find the right answers, you first have to ask the right questions. Who is the owner of this company? A very important question for the Christian entrepreneur. I always speak here, the owner of the company is God. We are currently here making our call. And when you provide a response regarding the owner of this company, that is another matter I will bring some good clarity to. In the decisions, yes, and in the future challenges of the wealthy Christian entrepreneur, the Christian entrepreneur, yes, who as a result will also become rich. It won't give you demotivation. It could be that today you're just starting your business with a partner or even on your own, but with Uyoge, your partner, you'll always be involved to some extent in this business. You bet, no doubt. In any case, it is imperative that the ownership and role of each individual in the company are clearly determined and defined without any ambiguity or confusion. And this is truly significant. Any confusion or uncertainty regarding this question will create serious difficulties and pose significant challenges in the future.
And behold, the response to this inquiry has the potential to safeguard your business from impending ruin and the ruin of your family, which holds utmost significance in your existence. Observe the numerous businesses that have not been destroyed as a result of the absence of alignment between partners or couples. Okay, numerous businesses. You will most likely also hear a multitude of different opinions on the optimal approach to manage your business. Look, but our advice here is to never lose your essence. Pay attention to this. It's a really important piece of advice. Never lose the essence of the business. And a big part of your essence comes from the first question. Why am I commencing a business? I consistently engage in dialogue with God. God, I never want to lose touch with my true nature and essence. My purpose is to assist individuals in transforming their financial situations. This is the sentence that I utilize each and every day. This is my essence. This is my motivation. Take a look at each individual making a change and transforming your financial lives for the better. This is my joy of life. That's why it's crucial that in your business, your partners are aligned with your why as well. In other words, they have to acquire into your answer to the initial question. They must believe strongly, just like you do. Here we have yet another exceedingly significant alert. Yeah, make sure to check it out. The incorrect response to why the initial inquiry is the cause why numerous accomplished business owners have experienced frustration, but only those who dedicate their strategies to God succeed in providing the correct answer to the initial question posed to them. Yeah? Who is willing to dedicate their plans to God? Please write it to me in the chat box. I am eager to receive your message. I have a desire. I have a desire. Yeah? Take a look. There is content here. The Christian entrepreneur understands that God is the owner of his business venture. Great, great. If you are an entrepreneur, I provide extensive education to my mentees on the importance of having a clear vision and the characteristics that a Christian entrepreneur should embody in order to succeed in their ventures. The foundation of your business is the Bible. God is the owner of your business. In reality, God is the ultimate owner of everything. Certainly, affirmative. Therefore, lacking this knowledge, you will likely encounter difficulties, regardless of the company's success. If the path to full success and true fulfillment for the Christian entrepreneur is to recognize that God is the owner of their business and operate it in a way that aligns completely with the word of God, with the Bible. And here comes another query. Look, look, yes, yes, pay attention to this. If you're already a Christian business person, you must be picturing, I know, this issue in the context of a mission statement and core values of the company as a Christian entrepreneur or professional. Yeah, it's a crucial aspect in managing the company. Although this is an important factor for the success of the company, yes, in this article here, we are talking about your own personal vision for the business as a Christian entrepreneur, which will undoubtedly be a little different from the vision and culture of your company. Look, when I say that you must establish your vision for the business, I mean that you need to chart a clear course for your life as a Christian entrepreneur. Yeah, do you understand? And remember that here I am proposing a financial metanoia with a biblical foundation. And in order to start a business, you have to start in your mind. When you change your mind, you are going to change your actions and change your results. From there, with your destination in mind, you're going to figure out where you want to get, where you want to end up. God is the ultimate authority over everything. How far are you planning to go? Is the business under the ownership of God? How many people are you going to help? Can you imagine yourself in this business for 25 years doing this? What will your life and business be like in 25 years? What kind of impression do you want to leave with this business? How is the business going to grow? Write somewhere for your record and remember what you want people to say about your business at the end of these 25 years. Imagine that, yeah? What type of reputation do you want this business to have and be known for? Whom do you desire to make an impression on? Is it just one person, two, three, four, or perhaps a hundred individuals? Whom do you wish to impress? What is your cause? How will people be affected by it? 
How many individuals are you planning to serve with your cause? Look, without a clear destination, man, are you going to permit life to take you wherever it pleases? In many decisions over the next few years, and this is not what a Christian entrepreneur should do, but if you have clarity from the beginning, it will be much easier to make decisions in the future. Yes, indeed. Here comes yet another incredibly important alert. Pay attention, please. Having a vision that is focused on achieving results in the world can greatly contribute to your success in the business world as an entrepreneur. Isn't that right? However, you will not discover the accomplishment you require as a Christian entrepreneur in the presence of God. Yeah? You are not performing the task you were created for. Do you grasp it? Yeah? You are not fulfilling your intended purpose. Do you comprehend? Yeah? This is the topic I am discussing today regarding your life, regarding your initial stage of embarking on a task. Regarding your motivation that will enable you to enhance your income through supernatural motivation techniques. Pray for this answer. The supernatural world is real. It's more real than we imagine. Seek guidance in the word of God for this vision that I believe God has a vision for you. So that you can be a source of assistance and inspiration for all the individuals around you as a Christian entrepreneur. If you let God grant you this vision, you cannot even fathom the magnitude of the impact it will have on your outcomes and your life. The blessing is derived from God. You are fulfilling your purpose by doing what God has uniquely created and designed you to do. I believe that only by driving, only by driving my business with the principles of Christ will I achieve true fulfillment. I am perpetually going to be completely satiated. Look, let us proceed to the word at this very moment. Okay, team, activate the chat at this moment. Psalms 27 verse 1. Yes, verse 27 verse 1. Look. Psalms 27 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? There is no one I need to be afraid of. The Lord is my mighty refuge. Whom should I be afraid of? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Have faith in him and he will guide your paths. Acknowledge the Lord in every aspect of your life and he will guide you on the right path. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 provide this timeless wisdom. So team, Psalms 27, 1 and Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Look, where is your heart? Achieving success in business is important. But experiencing true fulfillment as a Christian entrepreneur is an entirely separate and unique matter. You can possess a substantial amount of wealth, but it is merely currency. Furthermore, genuine wealth for a follower of Christ is merely a means to accomplish the intentions of God. The significance of this is profound. We should proceed ahead. Another verse, 1 John 5, 4, Whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. Yeah? A lot of businessmen, you know, achieve a lot of success without any communion with Christ. I am aware. I am aware. We all have knowledge about this. Many of them become serial entrepreneurs and start numerous companies throughout their careers. It seems like these businessmen keep trying something that they will never be able to accomplish. Can they achieve success in every business? Yes. Look, but they still reside in emptiness. When it comes to the true fulfillment they are actually looking for. And why does it not become a reality? Because many of them, despite achieving success in different businesses, never discover their true purpose or their true mission in life. That is the reason why he feels like something is always missing from them. I am here calling your attention to your true purpose, to your true mission in life. And here is the key to increasing your income as well. Look, similar to those individuals, the individuals who consistently lack something, then they transition to the next business opportunity with the false illusion that now they will ultimately achieve success. But why is it important to follow all these steps that I have told you so far, right? So you can examine your genuine fulfillment. Examine because it is extremely typical for two forms of frustration to happen in the entrepreneurial process. All right, give me a grade now, okay? Pay attention. Two, about the entrepreneur's venture. One, 
frustration over incompetence that happens. Due to the difficulties encountered in the business, the entrepreneur gets frustrated, gets shaken up by his lack of skills or competencies, and drives the business into ruin. To avoid this, it's crucial for the entrepreneur to be well prepared. Two, frustration due to lack of purpose. The businessman may or may not achieve financial success in his company, but he feels frustrated due to a lack of purpose. He starts to wonder, why is he doing that? Why do you work so much? Among other various issues that only someone who has gone through this process knows what they are. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, right? And look, take these precautions. Minimize the risks of experiencing these two types of frustration, your talent, your passion, and examine the market. What information have I provided to you? Frustration due to incompetence, lack of purpose. Now I'll tell you something valuable worth its weight in gold. Listen, it's crucial. It's worth gold for all Christian entrepreneurs. Who wants to know? Write it to me in the chat. You want to know something that's worth its weight in gold? Yes or no? Yeah? Yeah? Are there individuals sending me messages? Yes or no? Yeah? Look, a very common inquiry. What is up, Doc? I am going to start my own business. I know how nice. Good. And what do you say if I ask for a loan to get started? It is a very common question among entrepreneurs, right? Look, let me tell you something. Pay attention. Initiate with the seeds that God has granted you. Indeed. These are the seeds that encompass your time, your money, and all that you possess in abundance. But to begin with, yes, look. But when it comes to expanding the business, it's a whole different story. I've already done the initial business test. I don't see any problem at all to make a loan as long as it's with a calculated risk. And this is possible and in the right conditions. This actually does speed up multiplication and many entrepreneurs do this. No worries. However, commencing a business with borrowed funds is a completely unnecessary risk in an industry that you have no knowledge of. If you are uncertain whether the business will be successful, it is advisable to test it out initially and minimize your risk exposure. Why would you place someone else's funds into the business without testing it initially? There is no wisdom. There is no wisdom. Consequently, the subsequent action to take is to consider a minimum viable product for further progress in this situation. It is a frequently encountered equation in the field of business administration, which is known as the minimum viable product, as it is referred to in management. What's the deal with the minimum viable product? I'm going to explain it to you now. It's starting with the bare minimum needed to first test the idea. Got it? Yeah, our class is super technical today. Yeah, there's a ton of content today. And look, tonight we'll have class, yes, class 12. I am going to talk about family finances. We are going to have a really special class tomorrow night. Yes, very, a really, really special class. You can't lose it. And on Thursday, we're going to start our Christian week. Let's get to work. Yeah. Look, a simple example for you to understand here, which is the Biably mini product. Doc, I had the idea of opening up a chocolate shop, selling all kinds of chocolates and bonbons. Look, what do a lot of people do? Do they ask for a loan to start a business if you don't even test the idea first? I have mentees who make chocolates in Colombia, yes. I have a lot of mentees who are self-employed, freelancers, yes. I work a lot on increasing income in my mentoring, but today we don't have any openings for my mentorship, okay? If many individuals required, appreciated, and adored my team, I will take into account creating a couple of openings accessible at the conclusion of the occasion, all right? But today I want you to pay attention in our class. All right. On the other hand, you can look in our business from a small business like chocolates. You have the option to borrow 20 or 30 dollars to purchase the initial materials, produce the bonbon and start selling it to kickstart your entrepreneurial journey. It's a possibility, but always start by testing the idea. Feel the struggles. Learn as you go. The process is necessary. The process is something from God. Remember that when we manage the small things effectively, God will entrust us with much more. And this principle is stated in the Bible. The advice is to begin with small steps, but have ambitious aspirations. 
Affirmative, 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 affirmative. Write it down then, begin with small steps, but aim for significant impact, affirmative. Therefore, prioritize responsible management. It's another Christian principle, another biblical principle of good stewardship. Good stewardship also in your business, in your company. The principle of stewardship, stewardship indeed, stewardship indeed, stewardship indeed, stewardship. Look, he asserts that everything we possess is not ours, but it is bestowed upon us by God. Simply entrust it to us so that we can handle it and yield fruitful results like responsible stewards. I am not discussing the church in this particular situation. No, of course not. I am discussing you and God specifically. Yeah. And look, Matthew 25, 23, that you're like that. Whoever is faithful in little will be placed in much. If you have a small business, you need to learn how to take care of it, manage it diligently and produce results so that God can then put a bigger business in your hands so that you can be an example of a Christian entrepreneur for all honor and glory to God. Take note, the absence of responsibility will undoubtedly lead you into trouble that you won't be able to avoid. It's a matter of God's love for you. In general, it is in the valley where one learns to have greater stewardship, where there is a test and it is necessary to undergo it in order to grow and develop as individuals. Advice, golden advice, you know, Orica, a golden piece of advice for you. Make sure your company has solid management processes in light of the Bible, especially if you want to expand your business. Among which I'm going to talk about another very important biblical principle here, which is the law of servitude. Yes, in my mentoring sessions, I frequently discuss this content, delving deeper into the intricacies of the law of servitude and providing comprehensive insights and guidance. What is the law of servitude? It's very important for the Haitian entrepreneur. Serve more people and with more value. The money your company is going to generate is directly proportional to the value and the number of people it serves. Yeah, do you understand? It's not difficult to comprehend this. Look, if you have a hot dog stand and you earn $100 a day by serving 50 individuals, how much would you earn per day if you were able to serve 100 individuals now? Double, correct? And in the scenario where you have a network of stores that serve 1,000 people per day, would you be able to earn $2,000 per day or generate revenue that is 10 times more compared to the initial amount? However, what if instead of solely selling the hot dog for $22, you commence providing a wider range of intricate sandwiches for a higher price point? $4, for instance. How much would you earn? Undoubtedly, I would earn a lot more. Therefore, please remember, it's merely an example for you. The values, everything is just an example so that you have the right vision. Keep in mind that the revenue generated by your business is always closely tied to the number of people it serves and the value it brings to each customer. Got it? I'm going to give you another golden piece of advice here, but I still want to see where the super committed ones are, super committed ones. They have already created your invitation link. Yes. Every person here has the ability to invite others. Yes. To take part in our rigorous biblical finance program. We still have numerous classes here, and Thursday initiates the most exceptional portion, which is the Christian week I control my finances. In this intensive, you have a start date and an end date, and you'll miss me, yes, because one day I won't be here anymore. Hence, we need to prioritize our classes. You are presently live in this area, enabling you to have all the content that is available here for your benefit. Yes, golden advice for you, our class 11 for today. If we have a very special class tomorrow night, Joseph, or if you wouldn't miss it, you wouldn't miss it for anything. Golden advice. If your business is incurring losses, or if you're not satisfied with the current revenue it has, consider how you can provide better service and add more value to individuals. Look, the main focus is on people. It is not your business. It is not your revenue. It is not solely about the money or financial aspects. The emphasis is on individuals, you know. 
Look, I delve into this concept in depth with all my students in the complete program. Yes, it is not important regardless of whether you are a freelancer, a government employee, a private employee, or even a business owner. Freelancer, if like me, I encourage my students to use their talents to serve people and thereby increase their interests. How was the case of my student, Maria Parecida, who took a workshop that was a lost dream? She couldn't see the way to do that because she was super in debt, but she was able to revive the dream of having her own business when she decided to become my student and managed to get her finances under control. Check out Maria Aparecida. Initially, I was somewhat skeptical because I have a significant amount of debt, but there were notable changes, the most important one being that I now feel more trustworthy in the eyes of my family. My family observes that I have altered my position, observes that I possess different perspectives, and my family has confidence in me at this particular moment and states, now, yes, now we are on the correct path. With the cancellation of an insurance suggested by the rich Christian, I got rid of several debts. An additional fascinating aspect is that my market debt is considerably lower because I formulated a menu that enables me to have a precise understanding of the exact items I need to purchase. And as a result, my expenses are now 50% lower than they were before, which is a significant improvement. And I additionally opened my studio for my side gig after a period of five years of dreaming. Currently, my studio has become a reality and it is already generating additional income for me. That to me is priceless. And the other aspect, I don't clean myself up with the IRS, which I've already sorted out. Thanks a ton, Rich Christian, for this amazing opportunity. Thank you so much. May God bless each and every single one of you. Maria Aparecida's testimony is so delicious, yes. And all that happened in just 60 days. Incredible, yes. This is what happens when you dedicate yourself to gaining more knowledge. And that's why I want to share something important with you now. More content here. Another important lesson for you today. To reduce the risk of your business, you need to invest in constant education, at least in three areas of your life. Yes, it is of utmost importance. Firstly, it ensures financial control. Cash flow is the vital oxygen that the business depends on for sustenance and growth. A good positive cash flow. A company can even survive with losses, but not without controlled cash flow. Look, Amazon, which is one of the most valuable companies in the world, has been losing money for a long time, but it survived because it had an almost perfect cash flow control. Two, workers. Do you have the expertise to serve a larger crowd and enhance the value of their experience on a daily basis? That is the approach of the company. Three, delve deeper into knowledge in the fields of sales and marketing. You got to always dig deep into your business. Will it make all the difference for your business? How can I increase sales, generate more revenue? An increasing number of products are becoming commoditized and can be found ubiquitously. Take into consideration how your brand can create more value with your customers. Take Starbucks, for example. They don't worry about the coffees they serve. And but Starbucks has a strong brand. It's increasingly generating more value for your customer. And that's something that caused trouble for my mentees too. That's why we also offer classes and talks to them. We also talk about digital brand sales as well. It's not the most special part because the most special part is about finances in the light of the Bible, but it's the vision of the Christian entrepreneur that sets it apart and makes it truly unique. Yeah? And the Christian entrepreneur should always look at how he can do more with less. It's a good stewardship because the owner of your business is not the world, it's God. You are God's butler. Yes or yes, yes, where are they? Yes, yeah, that's awesome. So think about your business all the time, constantly, and now remember the following about the word. Please take a moment to check out the word now. Look, here is Proverbs 16 verses one to three for your reference. It's like that. Here, I'm gonna put in the chat, Proverbs 16, one, three, up to three, yum. 
Man plans his heart's desires, but the Lord holds the answer to the desires of the tongue, which longs to speak its truth. All the paths of man seem pure to him, but the Lord evolves the spirit. Give everything you do to the Lord and your plans will be successful. I can do all things, everything. I can do it through him who strengthens me. Amen. Yes or yes. It's the vision of the Christian entrepreneur. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Amen. So check out one more, one more testimony to build up your life from my student, Fernando. Take a look at Fernando's case now for creating and managing your financial life. Fernando C. Segundo Santos has brought a significant transformation in our life, as well as in my family's life. I often wonder, why did I start my journey here? Due to my desire to showcase this product to all of you, I wanted to present the fridge and the clothes, particularly the passion fruit clothes. Therefore, I am curious about the current course of events. What is the next step or outcome that will unfold from this point onwards? I am currently en route to the office. I will arrive shortly. Just wanted to let you know where I am. Thanks for your understanding and I'll see you soon. I learned that getting rich is the secret of banks. The blessing that I learned is that I will show you here, right here. It has our dollar 9033.17. Here is the most positive amount that entered my account. This significant increase in my bank balance has been a game changer for me, providing financial stability and opening up new opportunities for growth and prosperity. With this money, we were able to generate an additional source of income, and it was through the savings from selling passion fruit, as you saw in the opening of the video, that's why I pursued it. We purchased the inexpensive refrigerator. We obtained it because we were blessed by God. The course that they are rich in provided me with a closer connection to God as I was losing my fervor. And individuals such as Dr. Thalia and Rodrigo, through their God-given ministry, rekindled the fire of the Holy Spirit within my heart. The loans that were consigned became a part of my life starting in 2001. It was my initial loan and up until the present time, I have not been able to eliminate it. And another thing that has changed my life a lot is my relationship with the credit card, which the words from the course, the words spoken in the course opened my eyes. Thanks guys, excellent course. May God continue to bless. That is awesome. It is incredible, yes. Look, the class tomorrow is going to be a really special one. Let's conduct our class using a checklist to evaluate whether you are adhering to the biblical principles of finances in your life. We are going to administer a test. Yeah. And next week we will have the class. Yes, the secret of the banks is also a very special class. It's a class that will be very special and won't be recorded, right? So... Look, if it's clear to you that the foundation of all this is learning to have your finances under control, even as a Christian entrepreneur, and you will acquire a wealth of knowledge about this during the second stage of the Manos a la Obra event in the Christian week, which will be the largest online finance event for Christians starting on the upcoming Thursday of next week. So where are the highly committed individuals? Once it commences, you are unable to cease. Yes, let's proceed completely. This is an exclusive and costless occasion, the Christian week, solely for individuals who have registered, all right? If you're in the WhatsApp group for the intensive, then you're already enrolled, okay? Like I've already told you before in this class, in these classes, it is time to change your mindset. However, there at the event, we are going to get down to business, okay? And now the phrase of today's class has everything to do with the law of servitude which was one of the biblical principles we studied in our 11th class today. And it is the class phrase, look, the more I serve, the more wealth I generate. I will tell you again, the more I serve, the more wealth I generate. I reiterate it because it is important. Look, do not forget that later today we will have the evening class and in it, I will indeed speak to you about how to prevent finances from destroying your family. 
It's a crucial class and I'll give you the keys on how to motivate your family to have their finances under control, your partner, your child, the people who live with you. Even if you live alone, it's still important for you. And now give a like to this video and then make a story on Instagram if you have it with the class phrase that I repeat to you, the more I serve, the more wealth I generate. I am certain you will share your extensive knowledge with the individuals you know, right? And what do you need to do now? One, make stories on Instagram with the class phrase, and there we will share all the stories you make. Two, obtain your referral link and invite a larger number of individuals to be blessed with biblical wisdom in their financial life. We are currently in class 11 and we will have many more classes to come, but our intensive course also has a predetermined set end date. And three, come back today to the later class for the class on how to not let finances destroy your family. Join in and make the most of it. Look, and if you haven't seen the documentary, don't waste time and watch it so you can understand the power of the Bible in your finances. Team, you can release the attendance list now. And to wrap it up, the key word for today's class is to serve. To serve, to serve, right? The key word is to serve. Now, I bid you farewell and hope to see you soon. May God bless you. Goodbye for now. Take care and stay safe. Because after the rich Christian, I start to see life in a different way. My financial problems were fading away. A mortgage on my house, which I would take another eight years to pay off. I tell you that today I own a paid off house. There are several other debts that were troubling me and having the ability to do something that had not occurred in years in my life. Having extra money, having extra money of mine, my money never used to be extra. So managing to have some extra to invest as advised by the rich Christian in the portfolio we are following, following the completion of the course, I successfully managed to have some money left over from my salary, which was an achievement I hadn't been able to accomplish for a number of years. I managed to pay off the debts, a debt of 23,958, if I'm not mistaken at the time. In a span of 60 days, I managed to completely pay off this debt. This to me was an invaluable accomplishment that I can't put a price on. In addition to that debt, later on, I also paid off another debt. So for me, this was crucial. So at this point in time, now that I have a certain amount of money left over from my salary, I started making an investment as well. I began investing some money and I did not have a car. I used to walk. I have a car now. It is not a fancy one, but I have a car in my garage now. This, in my opinion, is absolutely priceless. Wow, what an overwhelming feeling. I am filled with immense happiness and gratitude. I state that the wealthy Christian was positioned in my existence at a critical juncture. It was of utmost importance. So the rich Christian was truly remarkable. It compelled me to completely empty myself and wholeheartedly believe that those incredible people were there to provide unwavering support, invaluable mentorship, and invaluable guidance on how to truly eliminate debts, achieve a well-balanced financial life, make wise investments, generate additional income, unearth hidden talents, and gain clarity on my desired path in life. I've already organized myself. I no longer have to borrow from loan sharks. I no longer have the private shops and businesses I had before because it was getting difficult. Everything is under control. My financial life is completely under control. I don't have that worry. One of the things I constantly had was power cuts. I couldn't handle it. Today I don't have, sometimes I see a cutting car passing by and I breathe like this, then I don't have. I'm calm, everything is up to date. The year 2020 was the first year that ended, that I ended with 1,500 reis. I can say, thanks to the rich Christian, I'm at peace. I can have a much calmer financial life. Financially, I'm not a slave to finances. The debts already existed, car financing, still paying for it. So there were quite a few things there, open debts, paying for land in installments, right? So that bar where we stayed, wow. And now what are we going to do, right? And that's when I started studying. I started the course slowly and began to see the transformations, many transformations. Reduction in bills, surprisingly, I learned to do extra activities that we didn't even pay attention to before because we were in our comfort zone. 
So I acquired new skills and knowledge. I established an online store through the course where they educate us on the importance of continuous self-improvement, undergoing a shift in mindset, thoughts and attitudes, and constantly striving to better ourselves. And that helped a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So with each step I took within the course, I saw the changes. And in the end, it was success, total success, both material and spiritual. It was wonderful. I had some loans which were insured. And there we learned how to reduce these loans, how to pay, how to pay off these loans. And we kept practicing this exercising control. For us, it wasn't enough to do things halfway. It only served us to do it right, to do it completely. Today, I am able to sleep in peace. The complete transformation in our lives has been absolutely incredible and utterly profound. I initiated the story by discussing the debts I had, and presently, we are actively engaged in the process of making investments. My dear friend and partner in this venture, we are investors. At this moment, we were able to contribute and provide assistance to individuals in need, which is also a very impressive principle that makes a difference in people's lives. Today, I feel at peace. Today, I sleep peacefully. We still face our life's challenges. It doesn't stop. But today, I can plan, organize myself to achieve, reaching new things every day.